Director of Institute of Archaeology and Ethnology Polish Academy of Science, with Dr. Dagmara Vera, Dr. Iwona Sobkowiak Tabaka, and Katarzyna Kerneder Gubała, proudly presents lecture from conference Flint in Time and Space, Time and Space in Flint. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> I have a very short presentation on behalf of my co-authors and, and uh, me. I have to apologize for changing in the program because it is my fault. Uh, there was a big traffic jam on the highway because of an accident and uh, there was no information that there is a big, big traffic jam. So let's start. Okay. Um, a matter of our interest are two obsidian, item, are two obsidian items uh, acquired during the excavations carried out in the second half of 19th century and within uh, 15,000 items of stone assemblage more than 15 artifacts made of obsidian were singled out. Most of them were stored in Museum Schleicher Altertümer in Breslau nowadays in Muzeum Miejskie Wrocławia, and two of them, which are a matter of our interest, were deposited in Gliwice Museum, now a museum in uh, Gliwice. Just to uh, just um, short uh, information about the location of the of the site, Raciebuszocice is located in western terrace of uh, Oder River, um, in the southern part of, uh, sorry, in the southern part of uh, of Poland, um, the site was excavated for the first time in 1879 by um, amateur archaeologist, a Prussian officer, Oberleutnant Rudolf Steckel. And in that time, a small part of the settlement, uh, including a few pits linked with younger uh, Stone Age, were explored. Uh, then the site was, of course, uh, explored several times, and a very rich, rich sequence of settlement from Middle uh, Paleolithic to Early Bronze Age were recognized. You can uh, have a look on the publication from um, 1881 by Rudolf Steckel, and there are some information about obsidian items uh, he collected during the excavations. Uh, just uh, short information about the chronology. Uh, the four mentioned items can be linked with uh, the Ochitsa group of Langel Cultural Settlement. Here is the uh, chronology of, of the development of, of this uh, group. And uh, a very short information about the uh, Racibus Ocica site because it is uh, famous not only because of uh, um, obsidian items but also because of um, very famous um, female figurines uh, which were uh, discovered in the beginning of the uh, um, 12th century. So there are some uh, publications and the most famous uh, Item, the female figurine made of made of clay, and there are some parts of the other figurines. But let's come back to uh, our obsidian items. Um, two investigated items were were recovered during Rudolf Steckel uh, excavations and deposited in Museum in Gliwice. Here is the description of the of the items. There are this one and uh, this one, and. Um, there are described as I have to uh, read it two blades from dark grey obsidian from which one is in larger size on the edges both of them where traces are visible uh, originally what is shown in this uh, picture the item was broken only in the distal part but now uh, it is uh, it is broken also in the middle part and glued from uh, three pieces in our opinion the color of the obsidians are a little bit different, rather dark greenish gray, according to Mansell chart of, um, of color. Both obsidians uh, items are broken. The preserved length uh, of the first item is 44 millimeters, and the second one is uh, 17 millimeters length. Mm. 
there are some <coughs> retouch and uh, crunching on the on the uh, edges of obsidian items and the rest of the uh, collection is stored now in Muzeum Miejskie Wrocławia. It was uh, deposited in 1885 and um, as far as I'm concerned because it is personal information by uh, Dr. Krzysztof Demidziuk, most of the of the items are still present uh, present in the in the Muzeum Miejskie Wrocławia. Um, <coughs> The spread of uh, obsidian um, is very useful for identification uh, of roots and networks in prehistoric times. Obsidian is not only beautiful and practical, but also very helpful for archaeologists to, um, to find the connection between uh, prehistoric societies. Uh, firstly, it has relatively few sources. And uh, secondly, it has distinctive chemical fingerprint, so the sources can be identified very precisely. In the central part of uh, Europe, there are five uh, the known five outgroups of obsidian uh, in Slovakia, in Hungary, Ukraine, and in um, western part of Slovakia. But, but in our knowledge, this kind of uh, obsidian items, uh, obsidian uh, materials. Um, uh, weren't uh, very high quality, so probably they weren't used by uh, prehistoric societies. And just very short description uh, of uh, Carpathian obsidians. You can uh, see the um, first variety, uh, very transparent, uh, glossy, and, and gray. The second one, which is uh, black, dull, and non transparent. And the third one, uh, which is pinkish or black, dull, and uh, has um, very uh, lots of uh, inclusion. Uh, sorry, inclusions inside. And just to compare <coughs> our um, obsidians uh, from Racibush Ocice, that which are made of greenish uh, um, obsidian. Mm. Because it is so unusual, we ask our colleague uh, from the United States, Richard Hughes, to uh, apply some geochemical methods to establish the provenance of the of the obsidian. So now I have to read something because it is too complicated for me. It's some chemical um, descriptions, and and uh, as we know, the energy and dispersive X-ray fluorescence uh, method seeks to determine nine major, uh, minor, and some trace elements. Uh, this uh, non-destructive method offers high precision, but we have to keep in our mind that uh, the, the sample which is investigated has to be very clear, no inclusions inside, and, and so on. Trace elements values, uh, except iron and uh, magnes uh, ratios, uh, for the artifacts were compared directly to values for known obsidian sources from Carpathians, as well as those located in Armenia, Georgia, and Turkey, and the Western Mediterranean, uh, Near East, Sardinia, Italy, and Greece. And now, the extremely high uh, concentration of uh, zircon. Uh, in these two analyzed artifacts, easily distinguish them for lower silicon composition glasses from the Carpathians, as well as those erupted in Armenia, Georgia, and Turkey. At this slide, we can see the plots of um, rubidium, uh, zircon and rubidium ratio uh, for archaeologically significant obsidian from the Mediterranean and Near East, uh, showing that not only obsidian from Pantelleria in Italy and from Nermut, uh, Nemrut uh, and Vingol in Turkey have generally si similar uh, composition. Uh, the geochemical distinction between Pantelleria and Nermut Tak uh, appears clear, but there is more similarity between Nemrut obsidians, uh, both located in southern Turkey, employed aluminium and uh, iron data to separate to separate the two chemical types. 
a geological samples with data derived from the Lachibush Ochica artifacts showing a close correspondence with Nermud duck values, in addition to similarities in aluminium oxide and um, iron oxide composition, the Lachibush Ochica artifacts align with the uh, zircon and the rubidium composition of geological obsidians from Nemot. And now, the location of the Lachibush Ochice site, the location of Nelmut Dak, and the uh, straight distance between these two um, uh, places, the outgroup and uh, the site, the archaeological site, where the obsidians were found during the excavations carried out by Rudolf Steckel is more than 3,000 kilometers. So it's quite strange, quite unusual, astonishing, and whatever we can, we can uh, call it. And of course, um, the geochemical data generated from um, our XDRF analysis support the attribution of the artifacts from the Chibush and from Nermut Dak. Regardless the mechanisms that may have been evolved in their prehistoric uh, convenience, to our knowledge, there are the first artifacts, the first geochemically documented occurrence of Turkish obsidian and uh, Neolithic site in Poland. What does it mean? We don't know. We just obtained uh, the results this, this Monday, so there are still preliminary results. And if you have an idea what can be uh, spoken on, on this connection. Uh, any ideas are very welcome. Yes, thank you very much, Ivona.